Last one. Now you can... Please tell me you haven't been putting those in. I don't need them anymore, so I'm sending them on a journey to find new homes. You can't put c***s in the mystery boxes. Shows what you know. Plenty of these already have one. Please tell me you remember which ones have c***s. If I kept track, they wouldn't be a mystery. That's false advertising. Okay, not a big deal. The boxes are still decorated, soldier. We'll just take a quick break, then repackage them. Woohoo! Break time! Bam. Job got you down? Little Mabel give you a job that's guaranteed to perk you right up. Hey, we can't do this now. Someone could come in at any moment. Nobody never comes in during the tour. You said so yourself. Now quiet whining and enjoy your succulent fate. Dang it, Mabel. How many times must I explain Murphy's Law? This is exactly when someone will... Mabel! Guess who's back in town for the summer? I need a host for my welcome back party. No way, Dipper. That is you. When did you get so tall and handsome? Haha, <laughs> don't tease me like that. I'm not kidding. I bet the ladies are all over you. Is that why I haven't been hearing from you? Got a new lady in your life? Uh, no, nobody knew. I've been, um, busy with my studies. Um. Seriously? Dude, you gotta put yourself out there. If you're still too shy about it, I'll let you practice with me all you want. I'm curious to see how you've grown in other areas. And that's what it would sound like if I was teasing you? Mabel, why are you s***ing harder? I was signaling you to be quiet. No to keep going. Don't come in front of Wendy. Don't come in front of Wendy. Heh, <laughs> you think I don't see what you're doing? Or are you just that bold? Uh, no, I, I, it's not my fault. Mabel. Dude, chillax. I'm not blaming you. I'm fully aware I have nieces I'd totally ogle them too if I were in your shoes. Besides, there's not much you can see when I'm wearing a bra. See for yourself. Whoops, forgot I didn't wear one today. Oh well, consider that one on the house. Oof, you're killing me. Dude, don't die on me. It's just a singular. I didn't even show you the full set. Have you never seen a real one before? That is not okay. You gotta come by my place later so we can work on that. Uh, and if you help me out with something we can do, even... Ahem! Paying customer coming through. You loiterers should leave now. Vendor, I have an annoying uncle arriving today, and I'm looking for a gift to portray my feelings for him. I want a tour of all your merchandise, so I may handpick the ugliest. You do owe you a bossy customer. Keep it away. These are why I got out of this type of work. This one's all yours, Dipper. I'm gonna go look for Mabel. We'll pick this back up later, after you take care of that little problems. We'll pick this back up later, after you take care of that little problems. Dipper! What was that I heard about boobs, and why do you look like you just... Huff, huff. Hi, Paz Paz. I'm done showing Dipper who doesn't wear the pants around here, so he's all yours. I gotta go catch Wendy. Was she? Yeah, she wouldn't stop. You really saved me. Mabel gets a pass. But what was that about lazy lumberjanes showing you her? I, it was an accident, and she was just teasing me about it. Uh, anyway, you came to buy something, right? No, I'm here to see you, you dork. Now I see you don't mind getting busy on the job. So how about taking me somewhere private? I could go for a quickie. I'd love to, but I can't leave the shop unattended. Don't you have someone that can cover for you? I do, but she just left. I'm losing on that investment already. I'm still glad you're here. Suze is heading out to game convention on Wednesday, so the shop will be closed the rest of the week. It'll just be me and Mabel here, so I was planning to invite you over if you're free. I'll start packing right away. When can I move in? 
Ha ha, you're welcome to stay, but are you sure you can handle this old shack that long? I'll survive! Tell me! Hmm, if I was crazy and impulsive, where would I... Wendy! Oomph! There you are! I missed you! Why didn't you tell me you were coming today? I would have prepared an extravaganza! I know you would, but I wanted to surprise you for once. And I see you got even bigger. No fair, share some with me. Down girl, I'm sure you're growing in fine. Let me take a look. It was charming when it was dipper, but now it feels like I've lost my identity. At least some things never change. Speaking of things changing, I was planning to fill dipper in on, you know, that thing I do. About time, girl. It's been so hard keeping such juicy info to myself. Seriously, thanks for that. I didn't think you'd be able to keep a secret from Dipper for so long. Although part of me was hoping you'd slip and save me the embarrassment of telling him. Honey, you know I got your back, your front, and all other angles. You got nothing to be embarrassed about. Dipper's gonna love it. I hope so. I was just feeling him out and I'm thinking of asking him to help out. What do you think? I'm not sure that's a good idea now that he's with Pacifica. Duh, obviously I'm waiting for her to leave. That's right, she's here now. And I'm supposed to be on cleaning duty. It's nice seeing you, but I gotta get to work. No biggie, I still gotta talk to Dipper, so I'll come with. Is she happy? That's terrifying. No, I'm too late. Go, I'll take care of Pass while you talk to Dipper. I'll honor your sacrifice. What sort of mischief are you up to now? PSH, wah, Pass Paz, you cray cray. I just want to provide your cleaning service that I totally didn't forget because it's my tippy tip top priority. Regrettably, I won't be needing such services since someone left my boyfriend alone at the register. I didn't mean to. Let me make it up to you. I can still give you a nice polish. Only the best for my fun time sponsor. Very well. I'm in a good mood, so I'm willing to accept your apology. I'm postponing my driver, so it better be a good one. Only the best for my fun time sponsor. Welcome back. I take it you found Mabel. Yeah, she's right outside handling a little problem, so it's just the two of us again. Now where did we leave off? Sorry. I was a bit distracted when you came in, so I can't recall. But I remember you should be more careful with your shirt. Maybe put your flannel back on until you find yourself a bra. Is he brushing off my girls? But hey, it's been so long. There's plenty to talk about. I've got a stack of the lowest rated Hollywood horror flicks I could find, and I've been dying to watch them together. I also got some games that could use another person. He can't be. Not after I gave him a look. What could possibly distract him more than my It'll be nice to finally have a friend around I can just sit back and chill with. Yeah, that's me. Friendzoned by Dipper. My ego can't take another hit today.